What's up, y'all? Welcome to part five of the vegetable garden. Today, my tomato has gotten really big. It's growing really tall. And it's growing a lot of tomatoes and developing flowers on it. And here is my dill. That's growing bigger. My parsley is growing. My pepper is getting close to ripe. And my bell pepper is developing little tiny pieces of pepper. As you can see. And my peppers are getting really big. My eggplants have large leaves now. I'm not sure what's eating the leaves, it's getting holes in it. And I planted a couple pumpkin vines from a pot, from seed, into the garden. So now, let's see if it grows. It will be 20 feet long. It's gonna climb all over the plants. And this cucumber is developing a wire. Once again, this thing got revived from its dead stage. It died before I planted it, and look where it came from a dead plant. I planted three vines in here, and one cucumber was dead, like I said, and it came back from the dead, and I planted these pumpkin vines yesterday on June 8th, 2021. And the strawberry has come a long way, and it's getting really big. I wonder what kind of great fruit it's gonna give us this time. And my strawberries are getting very large in population. Here's the whole garden. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, this is not really a garden, but I planted some pumpkin vines here, some here. This one's kind of dying, which I don't know if it's gonna grow or not. It may die, it may grow back. Who knows, man? This is another pumpkin vine that may grow. Here's the pumpkin vine that's dying, kind of. And then, here's some mint. It's growing really well, it's been happy. And now the pumpkin plants are gone. Now there's an open spot here in the garden. And now, basil's getting bigger. Rosemary's developing weeds inside it. So I gotta pull out of here. Gotta do that stuff later this weekend maybe. The parsley is not really grown at all. Oregano is looking really good. And here's that one right here. Here's the mint. That's looking really nice. And here's more mint. That's looking even better. It's very full. And this plant, I think it's a bird seed or just it's kind of weed. I grew, but for now, it's unknown. I'll reveal the plant when it grows its development. Here's some more mint that's growing really well. Here's some more mint, once again, growing really well. And we planted some more mint to fill in the empty spots. As you can saw last update, mint was just here. Now it's all the way to end the pot. What we did was we pulled out some mint from roots out of this pot and transplanted it into here. And now here's the whole garden. Thanks for watching the video. See you guys later. What's up y'all? Welcome to part five 
of this vegetable garden right here that I have to move really soon. And the grape, unfortunately being eaten by the stewed worm. Gotta move off it. It's unfortunately eating the leaves, sadly. And we still haven't planted this um, banana pepper yet. And this random flower is kind of getting healthier because deer eat this every year. And this tomato is going really fast in growth. And we also planted some pumpkin vines right here too. I planted this last year, yesterday too. And here's another vine that I planted yesterday. I planted both of them yesterday. And here's some bell pepper that we gotta plant. And the tomato is developing a lot of flowers, as you can see. And getting really big. And the elephant ear is getting pretty big too. It's growing two of these. As you can see, we definitely have to move this garden somewhere else very, very soon because it's going to invade the space of the garden. And here is the flower that has to grow. And here is the rest of the garden here. We're inside. Outside of the garden, of course. And here is the net. That protection from deer because deer will eat all these plants except for the elephant ears that are growing so now we gotta think about where else to place the grapes i was thinking about around around where the three rows come like the three trees come in one row like um go one two three maybe one grape where the last tree is Second tree, one grape, and third tree, another grape plant. And the fig tree that we have, that I'll give you updates very soon about that. We have not planted that tree yet. I was thinking to plant the fig tree right where that last tree is, because the rest of the trees are rows of four, and this tree is a row of three. So fig tree and grapes will be great places. And grapes are a vine that grow very tall. And a fig can grow up to 10 feet tall and 15 feet in width and live up to 200 to 400 years. Hey guys, I'll give you an update on the fig tree, how it's going when we plant it, and the grapevine. Stay tuned. Bye everyone. <laughs>